This is Cybert signing into Red Alert 3 on the map. Pool party for a 2v2. On the left side as our blue allies. This is Error 404. His teammate to the south as the yellow Soviets. This is Obiak. And on the other side of the map, we are playing left versus right here. As the orange Soviets, this is Pew Pew Laser. And I will pretty much always love casting that guy, guy purely because of his name. Finally, rounding out our fourth player as the red Soviets on the right side, it's Maxon. Maxon and Pew Pew Laser versus Error 404 and Oviak. Three Soviet players and one allied player. So no Empire for all of you Tangu lovers out there. The dog does get the bark off and the bear pays the price. So a little bit of a loss there for Pew Pew Laser. Losing both of his scouting bears as well. These conscripts I think maybe are not long for this world. One bear did manage to sneak by. We are on pool party for a delightful 2v2. Well, actually, maybe it's not a delightful 2v2, but for a 2v2, nonetheless, it's always nice to take a little bit of a break from uh, Infinity Isle, from, you know, seeing one map a lot. So, Pool Party is definitely the Infinity Isle of 2v2 maps, but it's not Infinity Isle, so we get a little bit of a difference here. We get a little bit of a mix-up. There isn't as much stalemating that happens on this map, although it definitely still can happen. But a little more, a couple more open pathways, and of course the nature of this being a 2v2 map, you can always help out your ally to try and break the lock that someone else has. Obiak going for the crush, gets the sickle, eats it up with his MCV, and he is not even upset about it. He's maybe even going to get another sickle. No, it is going to be a reverse terror drone and the infect. Maxon losing two sickles, but getting the infect on the MCV. Is there a crusher crane somewhere? Oh my gosh, he literally has to call in support from his ally if he's hoping to get rid of this terror drone. You can use the stingrays, I believe the stingray like overcharge ability, but that is about it. With no crusher crane out on the map, the MCV should be able to drive to the repair drones of Error 404. Also, I guess dolphins? Dolphins, I think, can splash kill terror drones from inside. So if your, your ally has a dolphin, you might be able to do it that way. And unfortunately for Maxon, he's going to be losing this hammer tank. Perhaps the first hammer tank that he produced in this game. And uh, the terror drone will get eliminated. It gets stasis there by Maxon's terror drone. And that is finally dealt with. The MCV almost down to half health before it actually gets repaired and gets the Terror Drone taken care of. A great move there by Error 404 and Obiak to barely be able to save his MCV. But really, the killer move is Maxon getting the infect with that Terror Drone. Delays anything that Obiak had been planning to do for so, so long. Pew Pew Laser going to be taking a little bit of damage from the sickles of Obiak. A couple of sickles going for the jump on this ore collector. And Error 404 backing up these sickles with a flight of Vindicators to clean up a flak cannon. A little bit of cash spent and no value gained from it. The Conscript's going to try and trade out versus the Sickle. That's adorable. The Vindicator actually going to be running point and a bombing run just to deal a little bit of extra damage to those Conscripts in a funny kind of exchange. Finally, the Hammer Tanks do show up to clean up those Sickles. They have done a bit of harassment, but no permanent damage to Pew Pew Laser, who can get his economy back online. He did, sh he did slow down his economy a little bit, but not enough that I think it is a problem. Bear is going to be coming back in for Pew Pew Laser. He sent them out for a swim, and now they are making their way back to land. Once again, Harvester in the middle, now under attack as these Riptides going to be putting some pressure onto Maxon, and these guys really trading, not, not just attacking straight across, but trading diagonally from themselves. You know, Obiak attacking... Pew Pew Laser, Error 404 attacking Maxon. 
crossing the map to do their harassment. Finally, the Riptides clean up that Harvester. And it looks like Pew Pew Laser has a ton of stuff on the minimap. And then you scroll over to it, and it's Bears, Conscripts, and like one Bullfrog. Not exactly a terrifying army to go up against. Not exactly a formidable fighting force. One Riptide may be getting caught here by this Terror Drone. Lovely catch there by Maxon as he's going to be... No, never mind. I thought he was going to do the micro with the Terror Drone where you keep two units frozen in place at once. But it didn't quite work out. And both of the Hammer Tanks go down, so I will take that trade anyway, any day if I'm Arrow 404. One Riptide for two Hammer Tanks like that, especially when those are probably the only two Hammer Tanks that your opponent has on the map. This, make this game just uh, chaos in the best and the worst way for us and for them. There's just constant, like, pushing from every direction from these guys. And Terror Drones being extremely annoying, locking down and infecting so many units. Satellites, or yeah, Satellite's going to be getting called down by Maxon, trying to land on top of those Hammer Tanks and do some damage. Gets the catch on two of the Hammer Tanks as the Freeze locks down a ton of Conscripts. There's going to be the uh, M Multi Gunner turret as those Hammer Tanks crush everything. Just maximum carnage there as the frozen bits of conscript just get split apart. And yeah, that multi gunner turret is going to help hold the line as the bears are the only thing left over from Pew Pew Laser. His huge army on the mini map that really wasn't doing a whole lot, but it's buying enough time for a Tesla coil push. Not something you see very often as Pew Pew Laser is not actually building that Tesla coil. That must be uh, OBX Tesla coil, uh, even though it's right next to the con yard. Or why is this multi gunner turret not attacking it? I'm not actually sure what is uh what's going on with this move yeah that is actually pew pew lasers tesla coil but for some reason air 404's multi gunner turret wasn't attacking it while it was building which is kind of curious twin blades showing up for obiak as pew pew laser going to be clearing out a couple of the twin blades getting some free damage off as obiak was not paying attention trying to deal with the tesla coil push inside of his own base double multi gunner turret to try and clean up this tesla coil and deal with the con yard as well and still double multi-gunner turret as he's forced to sell off the refinery. Great use of toxins on the barracks as Maxon also going to be dropping his own Tesla coil to try and kick Obiak out of his original main base. It looks like Obiak has an expansion in the north from when he was forced to drive his MCV up there. He dropped some infrastructure, so he may actually be able to recover out of this kind of a position as he himself is going to be potentially Tesla coil pushing Pew Pew Laser, and they might swap positions, turning this into a north v south 2v2. In the meanwhile, Error 404 with the Athena Cannons with the... IFBs has been building up his ground army and he may have a bit of an artillery advantage that is going to be difficult to overcome. A couple of hammer tanks, maybe one of them getting infected and it looks like this loose hammer tank from Maxon is going to get cleaned out by these twin blades as they're just going to clean up this guy almost for free. A little bit of harassment as Pew Pew Laser doesn't have a whole lot here to stop this refinery from going down, although Maxon showing up with more and more hammer tanks to try and stop Obiak from cleaning up his allies' refinery. Absolute chaos as, uh, again, every single direction attacks are both coming and going. And it looks like Obiak has given up on trying to clear out this base with Tesla coils. He's just going to leave it to the space lasers from the Athena cannons to clean up Pew Pew Laser's original base. But Pew Pew Laser is trying to expand into the main base of Obiak. Obiak still holding on to that oil. Derek still holding on to this refinery up here in the north. And he's got those twin blades in probably constant production. Dodging the satellites as Athena cannons, Mirage tanks, and IFVs potentially turn their way south as Error 404 might be the unsung hero of this match, at least for our team on the left side. Obiak being completely displaced from early on, you know, having his 
And once again, the refineries get cancelled. This guy just builds and cancels refineries without ever actually letting them finish as he is trying to figure out what to do with himself. Forced to sell off another refinery and even his crusher crane is probably going to be getting targeted and the oil derrick as well will most likely go down, meaning that Pew Laser will have essentially no economy and no production, just an MCV running around the map if Error 404 continues his push. Okay, he's finally found a refinery that he feels is safe enough to take. He's also managed to grab the oil derrick over here, so he just replaced the one that ended up going down. And Obiak, I think he's, yeah, he's reestablished himself in the north as these guys truly are trading places. Even the Harvester gets eliminated by those satellites. The Crusher Crane goes down. The Mirage Tanks continuing to push on forward. And the thing about Athena's and Mirage Tanks is they have high damage output, but they're bit a they're bit of a glass cannon. So they do go down very quickly. So this is an extremely formidable army, but if they get too up close and personal with too much DPS, they are just going to be shredded. These are not uh these are not heavy hitting or these are not Heavy tanking tanks. Obi coming in with a couple of MIGs, trying to do even more damage to those twin blades, trying to cut down the forces of Maxon and Pew Pew Laser. Everyone somehow is still in this game, and someone has just one conscript. Maltov cocktailing that refinery in the north. He's just slowly but surely going to be working away at that refinery to clean it up. Goodbye, house. And, uh, well, eventually, Obiak does kill off that conscript with his terror drone. Pew Pew Laser still in this game, technically. Obiak also still in this game, technically. And, of course, Error 404, he's playing this out very well, slowly but surely, and just use the Athena cannons. You basically don't want to do anything else if you can at all help it. Terror Drone runs right through the laser, doesn't even get the chance to go for the infect on one of those Mirage tanks. And, well, what do you even do against this kind of an army? You hope that your opponent makes a mistake, but if you get too close to those Mirage tanks, I mean, that's a lot of trees, rocks, and, uh, street lights that will shred you extremely quickly calling down satellites directly onto the army they're going to have to reverse move out of there or they're going to take a lot of damage uh they're just going to sit there and take it oh a huge mistake by error 404 his entire army explodes as the twin blades are now going to jump on top of the ifvs and he found the mistake he created the opportunity for himself and aegis shield is good but where are the migs there's just one left the twin blades so low on health but they just barely might have enough health between them to deal with these Athena cannons. The overlapping Aegis shields actually kind of working, but it doesn't last forever. And the super reactor, it's a race against time. It's a race that he lost. Error 404 with his incredible army just looking away for one reason or another. He's rebuilt a little bit here. He loses one uh, sentry bomber before it actually makes its bombing run. And of course, if sentry bombers dropped all of their bombs in one spot, they actually would have cleaned up that refinery. But it is not as the game is designed. And do Pew Pew Laser and Maxon actually have a chance here? It's a possibility. Somehow, Error 404 has held on to a single multi gunner turret way down here in the south. I guess he could clean up a couple of these conscripts and maybe flak troopers as well. But Pew Pew Laser has rebuilt. Cryogeddon going to be firing off. He's going to be able to get a refinery, a harvester, and a barracks or a reactor. He goes for the kill on the refinery, and he does not stop Micro to get maximum damage out. He just goes for the kill on the barracks instead. Twinblade's going to be showing up to assist those conscripts in clearing out that multi-gunner turret. And once again, somehow all four players are actually still, you know, quote-unquote, in this game. Obviously, Obiak and Pew Pew Laser playing less of a role over the last five or so minutes of this match than our other two guys. But what a bizarre game. Actually, no, it's not really that bizarre, but what a great and unusual 2v2 uh, than we normally see on Pool Party. I guess normally we see a little more allies and a little more Empire representation. So the fact that this has just been pretty scrappy Soviet versus allies, and uh, that's, that's the part that's a little bit different. 
is the representation of the factions. More Sentry gun Bombers Gunners. Sentry Bombers going to be making a run against this refinery. There's the sell-off. The Terror Drone trying to lock down that Ore Collector. And Obiak, he is uh, doing what he can, man. He's got those Terror Drones locking down Harvesters if they at all can. I mean, what are you even going to do versus these Harvesters? These Harvesters, you have Bullfrogs along with that Terror Drone. And hey, that's the double stasis. He's just literally trying to disrupt Obiak as much as he possibly can. Vindicator is going to be coming in for a bombing run. They give their lives to kill a reactor. I don't think that was quite worth it. Although Obiak has rebuilt some hammer tanks. So the fact that Error 404 lost those Vindicators without much use may not actually matter if the combination of Error 404 and Obiak have enough forces to clear out Maxon and Pew Pew Laser. Pew Pew Laser, who hasn't been doing a whole lot of harvesting recently, losing this refinery here, and uh, I guess it did send Pew Pew Laser into low power mode, losing that reactor, but he could easily just sell off this, uh, you know, sell off something, maybe this flaming barracks down here that doesn't seem to be doing too much, to save himself from that low power mode. Ooh, double infect on that IFB. Double, double infect. Of course, these last two will actually get repaired, so the Terror Drones won't get the kills, but at least those Terror Drones got one kill apiece. Obiak rushing in, and I think maybe not with a lot of support from his ally. He does have a couple of Bullfrogs, three even here to try and push away these Twin Blades, but it is not going to do anything. He gets the Crusher Crane, but not really anything else. And uh, maybe he denied that super reactor from actually being constructed. But the War Factory still stands strong. Maxon has not been defeated. Those Bullfrogs and the IFBs being closer by could have completely changed that engagement. The MCV taking a little bit of damage. I think this is the original MCV from the Terror Drone days way back at the beginning of this match. Sentry Bombers getting eliminated. I don't even know where they were going, but they get cleaned up by the Bullfrogs. And a good catch there by Maxon doing absolutely everything he can to take down this really high-value allied army and just reduce it to dust. Obiak, if he pulls his Bullfrogs back at the wrong time, yeah, he drove right into the satellites instead of staying a little bit safer, a little bit further away. One multi-gunner turret goes down and just gets eliminated. Does basically nothing for Error 404. Obiak going to be dropping a barracks kind of on the front line. I love this refinery way out here on the right side where there hasn't been a whole lot of action. And once again, the Athena cannons pushing their way forward. Last time, Maxon got pretty darn lucky with the fact that Error 404 was not paying any attention at all and lost all of his mirages and most of his IFVs to that satellite drop. I can't imagine that'll happen again, so Maxon needs a better solution. All this time, Maxon has been kind of rebuilding, trying to reposition himself, but he's never been able to tech up. These Soviet guys have just not been able to get their tech up and running, so there's no... APOC tanks, there's no V4s to try and contend with the Athena cannons, and definitely no Dreadnoughts or Kirovs, you know, in the sky or out on the water to try and break up the attack of Error 404, at least threaten his infrastructure back home. And as a result, Maxon just doesn't have a lot on the ground once again. It's kind of the same story as last time. He bought himself a lot of time, but he hasn't been able to really do anything with that time. He hasn't been able to come up with a solution of how to beat Error 404 and Obiak. Goodbye Airfield, goodbye Super Reactor, both eliminated very quickly by those Athena Cannons. That would have been sick if one of these players uh, on the other team was indeed allies and that was a sneaky spy. That would be a sick way to try and turn things around is to uh, bribe a bunch of the high value units. Looks like Vindicator's making a bit of a run. No, it's actually gonna be an aircraft carrier from the inside spots on the island. No Bullfrogs here, so it's just up to the IFVs. The IFVs do good enough versus this number of Twin Blades. Iron Curtain here for Obiak, way up there in the north. It probably will eventually count down to zero, but I don't know how much of this game will even be left at that point. Terror Drones rushing, they get a couple of kills 
on those flak troopers but i don't think it's going to be enough although what is this another tesla push coming up from pew pew laser he drops the airfield in the north as well what a great move here what a move of absolute desperation from this guy to try and pull something out of nothing you're pushing me with your athenas and your ifbs i can't necessarily directly compete with you but what i can do is disrupt you back home even satellites getting called down i assume Oh my gosh, he's going to cryo get in almost his own refinery to stop that engineer from getting the capture on that ore refinery. But if he doesn't actually have anything to kill the engineer, then eventually the engineer will just walk back over there and grab the ore refinery. Pew Pew Laser, is he doing it? Is he making the comeback of the century? What an amazing move by this guy to just totally go for the distraction move. And I mean... I don't know that he can actually win from this kind of a position, but Pew Pew Laser now has a double vet peacekeeper out on the field. And I mean, he's denied a refinery from his opponent. He at least got a little bit of cash back for that engineer. So he's not totally out in that sense. Obiak showing up with uh, Bullfrogs to a sentry gun fight, which is a little bit unfortunate. And the Terror Drones from QP Laser may be able to get the infect on the Bullfrogs as well. Go for a couple of extra kills because, hey, why not? One sickle out in the open just gets eliminated and it's into mass uh, Terror Drone, which this is a little bit of a Red Alert 2 strategy. You don't really see mass Terror Drone get utilized in Red Alert 3. They're far enough away that they may actually get the infect on most of the Athena cannons, there's no fast damage units to go for the kill on these Terror Drones, and that is four Athena cannons getting infected by Terror Drones. One of them already eliminated a fifth Athena cannon going down, and that's the self-sacrifices. These Athena cannons and these IFVs target down the infected units and get eliminated. All of the Terror Drones go down, but what a price to pay. Natasha out on the field. 20 seconds left on the Iron Curtain and somehow Error 404 and Obiak have been unable to close this game out. The Tesla Coil push actually is still going. Pew Pew Lasers Tesla Coil that got frozen in its spot still stands and is still doing damage. Conscripts and a Peacekeeper pushing forward. A double vet Peacekeeper with too much health for that Vindicator to kill off doing even more damage. Twin Blades way down in the south. The Crusher Crane keeping Maxon alive. I guess his MCV perhaps went down or was sold off at some point in the past, but he has got that Crusher Crane so he can base crawl to anywhere and any place on the map to go for another expansion. The satellites haven't quite worked out, and Obiak may actually be losing his MCV. Finally, it gets eliminated as those Twin Blades Find the damage output that they're looking for. Clean up a refine or clean up a reactor, clean up an MCV as the bullfrogs show up and will it may actually clear out the skies. One twin blade, two twin blades going down. A third does manage to escape away to the north and goodbye reactor. Excuse me, refinery and perhaps even the battle lab. No, the twin blades don't quite have the time as he's even built an ore refinery. Pew Pew Laser building an ore refinery in his opponent's base and surely that ore mine is depleted. So there's almost no way that that guy is going to get any real value out of that ore node. Twin Blades swinging around to the north. They're going to be going for the super reactor, and they're trying to just cut down all of the infrastructure that Obiak has and just trying to stay ahead of those bullfrogs. Beacons going down by both sides. Maxon with his very mobile army and Pupu Laser with his Tesla coils trying to hold on against the odds and somehow Pew Pew Laser may actually get the capture on that oil derrick stealing it away from Error 404 who's had it pretty much the entire game. Bullfrogs passing Bullfrogs as Maxon and Obiak desperately wished that those guys could shoot down and once again the Twin Blades have evaded the Bullfrogs of Obiak chasing them all over the map but Maxon still survives once again Cryogeddon firing off but this time there's a couple of IFEs to actually do the damage and somehow that Cryogeddon was misplaced enough that it didn't get the ore refinery it just got the Tesla coil 
Dreadnought out on the water from Pew Pew Laser doing some damage to those IFBs, but not enough to stop the assault. Once again, a terror drone getting the infect on an Athena cannon. This game, every single direction, there's nuts craziness going on. And yet somehow all four players are still in this game. Low power at 0-0. Zero, zero. That Iron Curtain never actually firing off. And now just building after building, going down for Obiak. He is in a bad, bad situation. And he's desperately, again, trying to chase around these twin blades with his bullfrogs but he just cannot close the noose around them if he could get close and personal he could almost certainly clean them all up but he just can't quite get out to them kirovs and dreadnoughts the terror of the soviets going to be coming in here for and they're actually going to be trading blows with the aircraft carrier which is just sitting there trying to do something oh he's going for i don't actually know what he's trying to kill with those aircraft carriers the IFB's nearly catching the Twin Blades in the south, but not quite able to do it. And the Terror Drones locking down these aircraft carriers, holding them in place for the Kirovs, for the Dreadnoughts, as the Hydrofoil showing up with the Weapons Jammer to ensure that the Kirov doesn't actually do anything. It will crash down, and it potentially will even take the Hydrofoil with it as the MCV gets eliminated by the Dreadnoughts, the Bullfrogs unable to protect their allies and this aircraft carrier unable to return fire gets eliminated the dreadnoughts going fully heroic burning their way through the entire allied army and somehow some way maxon and pew pew laser still in this game pew pew laser being the savior of our team in the south i guess originally they were on the right side but now they're in the south Coming up with the Navy around the left side of the map, potentially even taking this ore node that has 2,000 credits in it. Eventually killing off that Harvester and, oh my gosh, error 404 with the Terror Drones. The Terror Drones infecting more and more IFBs. He finally drives them back to the armor facility, to the War Factory to get those free repairs and deal with those Terror Drones. I was a little bit worried that maybe he... Uh, Maybe he didn't have any repair drones available. Pew Laser losing that oil derrick, but he's actually probably had it long enough at this point that it has made him enough cash. He gets an extra 30 credits because of the delay in those attacks. The IFB is not wanting to take any damage from that oil derrick. I think they were far enough away anyways. And Obiak, is he... Oh. Nope, Obiak has been defeated. He hands everything over to Pew Pew Laser. And finally, this late into the game, someone has finally actually died. Hydrofoil gets eliminated as well, potentially by this terror drone. And it looks like Error 404 may have just given up. They may be very well typing stuff into the chat as everything gets infected by terror drones. And still low power mode is Error 404, who has been defeated. The GG gets called. And somehow Pew Pew Laser and Maxon pull it out of this match. What an insane 2v2, insanely entertaining 2v2 between these four players. Error 404 and Obiak putting up a tremendous fight in the first half, but in the second half it was truly Pew Pew Laser and Maxon who brought the pain. Pew Pew Laser with that desperate move in the north, attacking Error 404 directly when his entire army was so out of position. And it looked like the most awkward, desperate play to try and make something happen, but it ended up working. If it's stupid and it works, maybe it's not stupid. But that will do it for this game. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is Cyber signing out.